So here I've got on Nightmare Before Christmas, paused of course so that you can hear me. And then I have got this lovely two strands of black garland and all kinds of little goodies that I've got to make a garland. And that is going to go up here over my uh, window. I don't really have a plan for this project and exactly how it's gonna work. I'm just gonna wing it, that's generally what I do. I like to plan certain things, but things like this, I just like to kind of go with the flow, see what feels right, try out different things. So I'm so excited to see the final product and take you along on my journey. And here we have a quick shot of my supervisor, who as you can see is falling asleep on the job. I'm going to take these cute little candy corn and ball sprays and use the black wire to attach them to each end. This is what that looks like with the little candy corn sprays at the end. I think that'll look really nice reaching out kind of over the curtain rod. It'll give it a nice little whimsical touch. Next, I'm going to take these beautiful little beaded garlands and wrap them around the large black garland. I'm going to make some bows. I think I'm gonna stick with this beautiful orange and the black and white stripe. Black and white stripes, kind of a thing for me. So that'll match my living room nicely. And then I love the orange and black for our Halloween. I ended up with these cute little bows. I'm really happy with the way they turned out. So now we just have to apply them to the garland. Here are the bows attached. So far, so good. Now it's time for a little tea break. So I've got this awesome little, actually large, mug that my husband got me for Christmas. I've got myself some Earl Grey, which is my favorite tea ever. My generic Stevia, because I try to not do sugar. And my lovely iced tea spoon. That's a silver spoon. That was my grandma's. She always called them iced teaspoons. I don't know if that's what they actually are. Ah, keeps floating up to the top. Really? is just not cooperating at all. Let's try this again. There we go. All right, well, let this steep for a few minutes and then I will get back to work. And now for the super fun orange curly cues. Now we've got our awesome little curly cues. Next, we have these cool little blingy balls. So there's our little blingy balls just on the ends. Now we have these pretty pumpkins with a little smidge of foliage. And last but not least, my favorites, these awesome little lollipops. I have no idea why, but I absolutely love these. I think they are so cute. And here is the finished product. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks awesome. I'm so excited to put this up and I'm excited for you guys to see it when I do my full decorate with me for Halloween. I'm so excited guys. All right, that's it for my DIY garland. That was so fun. I really love doing projects like this because I like being able to make something that fits my taste as well as having something truly unique. What do you guys think? Did you like it? If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and share. And please subscribe and be sure and hit that little bell notification. And I will see you tomorrow for my next installment of Vlogtober. Good night.